Hi there, Richland here, and um, I wanted to share with you, I'd already started working in this journal, and then I thought, oh, I better stop and, and do a quick video. This is a journal that I put together for um, a memories challenge that was on um, one of Debbie Ann Parent's um, Facebook groups, I think Vintage Journals, or I'm pretty sure that's which one it was. But anyway, I went ahead and said, yes, I would like to do it, and um, I did show some pictures of this on that particular page, but... I started working in it and I thought, oh, I'm going to stop right here because I want to share this with people on my channel. And again, I did the, um, started a 30-day journal challenge in September um, over on Junk Journal Junkies. And I really have enjoyed doing that. And so I wanted to continue on in November with doing something similar. So um, just ignore any of my writing. I'll kind of flip past that. But real quick, I just, uh, I used a seam binding closure. Uh, it's made from an envelope, a used envelope, and I just put on some um, scrapbook paper, and this is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and this is from her Woodland Wings uh, collection, and I had that paper already printed off, and I was going to put it in another journal, and I decided this would be the perf perfect journal to use it in, and it's such a beautiful kit. I just love it so much. So I did some layering of some goodies down here, because it's a fall-themed kind of journal, with some paper flower, or excuse me, paper leaves, a little bit of tulle, some, a feather, some eyelet, um, not eyelet, um, fun fiber. I'm going to get it right. <laughs> a little bit of tea-dyed cheesecloth and some lace here at the bottom. Super simple. I did make this front a pocket again so that I could put a tag in that has the dates and stuff on the back about what this journal's about, but I just put on here a Katherine Hepburn quote, if you obey all the rules, you miss all the fun. And um, I kind of like doing that on my journals, not all of them, but putting a, a little uh, tag on the front. It's one signature. It's not a big journal. Um, and again, on the back, just some layering of scrapbook paper and some uh, an ephemera piece from that kit, Woodland Wings. So here we go. Make sure I'm in frame here. And there are other papers in here too, obviously. Um, so yeah, a pocket on the front. Believe in your dreams and space on the back for journaling. So... I made a little pocket here to stuff some goodies in. I use a lot of paint chips. I love writing on the colored side and then sometimes I gesso the back and use the back. But I just pile up uh, quite a few um, little bits and pieces that are on my desk so I have them handy if I want to use them. And uh, just a bit of lace here. This is not a writing spot, it's just for decoration. Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Aren't those colors beautiful? So I have a little bit I wrote about my son's senior skip day and also about one of my memories as a child was tea and toast when we were sick. That was what my mom always did, tea and toast. So this here is a pocket for storing goodies, plus I can write on this. And even though it's not Christmas, I wrote about my Christmas morning cinnamon roll, so I stuck this tag on here. And as you can see, it's just a wide variety of papers. Um, this is from my Daphne's Diary, and uh, it's a calendar book, and there's wonderful inspirational kind of pages in there, so I just cut them out, and then on the back it has lines, and it's perfect for writing some, you know, private journaling on, and it looks pretty in the tucking it into a journal. Some gessoed paper from Pride and Prejudice, and a little piece of lace here. This isn't fancy. I love using up my... Um, any kind of packaging. I love using packaging. And this is from my new favorite socks, Amelia's Organic Legwear. And I loved the little branches here at the bottom. So I just put a piece of um, ribbon on the top here and put a leaf on the back, kind of covering up the barcode and whatnot. So as you can see, the rest of this has not been worked in. But it will be. And... Uh, a receipt from a craft show that I went to and purchased a cinnamon roll candle. Cinnamon roll scented candle. So um, pockets. These again too are from Daphne's Diary and they're in the little planners. They have a perforated edge 
so you can tear them out and they're your shopping list and to-do list but they are so wonderful to use in junk journals that I I usually don't write on them for my shopping list I tear them out and save them for the junk journals so this is pretty bare bones right now because I haven't added anything to it other than just some basic embellishments I bought a pack of when you go to your if you have a local stamp store or scrapbook store that sells um, papers see if they have scrap packs because if they do classes sometimes they'll have packs that they sell I got two giant packs for three dollars and many of the sheets in there were sheets that were full sheets nothing was cut off of them or punched out of them but others were little pieces like this and this is Tim Holtz paper and they had punched some leaves out and I thought oh that's perfect for a fall journal so I just taped this piece in here for some interest um, but you know check with them and see if they sell and if they don't give them that suggestion because um, I really totally scored with the variety of papers that I got from our local stamp store. It's not really a scrapbook store, but they do carry a small amount of scrapbook paper. Graphic 45, Authentique, um, Bow Bunny, oh, just, you know, a variety of little papers. So this is pretty simple, but I just wanted to share with you how my journals start off before I fill them up. And... Um, kind of encourage people really just to jump in and start making journals because it doesn't have to be super fancy. This one here is, um, I like doing uh, secret writing in my journals. Sometimes I want to write about something private and so I like having a way to kind of keep that private. So I just made a tab down here and I can just tuck this in and I put a little clip on it to hold it together but the other thing about it is that it can be a tuck spot so it's kind of dual purpose so um, yeah I, I, I do like doing that and the center of my signature and this, all the papers from that particular kit are just beautiful again another one of those secret journaling spots here and there's so much writing space available in there that I love that. This is so beautiful. I mean, it's just really gorgeous, the colors. Debbie Ann did a great job with this kit. It's one of my favorites. Now, I do not do, uh, I'm not a design team person or anything else like that. I love all of our gals that um, put out kits. I think they do a wonderful job. And... Um, some of them are so generous with the junk journal community, and I really appreciate that, and I'm sure everybody else does too. I like to give a shout out to them. This was just some packaging paper that came, and it was torn, and I thought, oh, that'll be perfect. I'm going to put it in just like it is. <laughs> All the little ephemera pieces are gorgeous too. Just a little bit of... Uh, daisy chain trim here it was I, just sweet and I love that you can cut the individual flowers off and use them by themselves so again I just wanted to share with you this little journal um, I use paint chips all the time as I mentioned and when I was at uh, Lowe's I noticed that they had these fabulous names on this one tea biscuit gentle dough pumpkin patch gingerbread and lucky penny and I thought oh that's I just love the names of the colors and it was fall colors so I mean that was win-win again another book page gesso it just feels so wonderful and when I do book pages even if they are still attached where I cut out the signatures now this book had been a little beat up I do put washi tape down both sides to give it just a little extra support in the book Wonderful coffee dyeing of a doily. A little flip out here. And this is a pocket, so I can tuck other things in here. And this is, that's it. You can never have too much happy, and that's the truth. And just a little paper tag in there. So this is my little memories journal. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. I have some other journals that I'm working on that I'll be back to share. But um, in the meantime, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you. Bye-bye.